What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival on Pertam. This is episode number 23 and I want to give you guys a full disclosure right off the bat before we get going here. I'm fully expecting a reaver attack because last episode we rebuilt our antenna and if you guys remember, uh, pretty much the, the second I turned on the recording uh, last time, the episode after we put up the antenna, the thing attacked. So I'm fully expecting us to be under attack uh, very soon. Uh, by Reavers. I guess we'll see if that's going to happen. I do want to increase the radius of this though a little bit and I'm cheating to do it a little bit here. I'm, I'm actually uh, using the, um, the, the, what, whatchamacallit? <laughs> the control click, what's it called? Build vision, it's even there. I can't think of words today. But uh, I'm going to increase this by uh, up to 12,000 like I had it before. And we're just going to kind of let that sit there. And you know, if Reavers attack, they attack. Um, so this episode, essentially what we're doing, and it's nighttime, we're starting off nighttime and in a storm. Uh, but essentially what we're doing is a lot more work on our fort. We're doing something a little special, which I'm probably going to end up putting right here. And I'll tell you guys what that is in a bit. Uh, we're also going to attempt to move the giant ship over to the museum, which you can barely see right over there. We're going to attempt to move the giant ship over there in this episode. So, um, in fact, no, wait, we want to wait until it gets light for that. Uh, okay, hang on. What do we want to do then? Okay, well, you know what we can do while it's dark, actually? Let's get the, uh, let's get our, uh, lighthouse back up and running. So let me go and grab some materials, and we're just gonna build it up a little bit, because I know the top has been neglected for far too long, and by far too long, I mean a couple of episodes. So it's about time we get that thing up and running. Let's grab just a couple of interior plates, uh, and I want to grab a bunch of steel plates as well. Steel plates. Let's grab some of those guys. And in fact, I want to check on our iron supply as well, because I want to know... Okay, yes, we have plenty of iron... Because last episode we went on a bit of an iron... Wait, are we getting more? Did I just see that number tick up? Oh, we're still getting it! Wow! Okay, well anyways, we're just going to go and produce a bunch of stuff then. We only had about 6,000 steel plates, so let's make that closer to uh, 16... 20,000, maybe. And we'll make a couple of these while we're at it, and a couple of those, and maybe even a couple of these just, just so we have them. How bad is the damage up here? Is it like... Okay, it's not terrible. I mean, we should probably repair this here. Uh, and I believe this is just a normal block, and then that's stairs, and that's stairs. Okay, so we can just fill these in while we're here. And I should probably turn on my light, shouldn't I, so you guys don't have to stare at a black screen. Um, okay, so this is fixed-ish. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to find the center point, which I believe... Was it... Okay, yeah, so it's here. Uh, right there, I believe. And we are going to place our uh, rotating light. So let's get our rotating light out, and let's place that right there. Uh, and finally, we're going to put our maximum distance light on top, which I believe we already have right here, the high-powered spotlight. And we're going to uh, to set it up. So let's go and grab the stuff to build it, and I'm, I will be right back up here. All right, Lighthouse, I come bearing gifts. And in this case, that's a super gremlin. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That literally just appeared as I was flying, and I, I, I really thought it was going to be a reaver. But uh, let's put this thing right up there so the reavers can see us, because we want them to be able to, uh, to know that we're here. Um, and in fact, I also brought a couple of stairs so we can fix this up as well, so we don't have to use our jetpack to get up here if we didn't want to. Let's uh, turn this around the right way. That is not the right way. There we go. That is the right way. And let's fix these up. Start with that one, and then we'll see if we can do these. Yes, we can. All right, do you guys need some fixing? It looks like some of you might. Um, actually, I wonder if a Reaver spawned and a Super Gremlin spawned, would they fight each other? Or would they just kind of agree to be on the same side against me? That's a good question. Oh, we have a nice window now. Huh. Okay, now all we have to do is hop back up here, and I want to increase the radius to the max, uh, which is very, very large, by the way. There's a huge radius. And let's actually... Oops. Let's actually bump up the intensity as well, so it's a very, very bright light to maybe three. I don't I don't know if it does much from there. We can even inc increase the offset if we wanted to. I don't know how much that would help us. Uh, I don't think it really matters. Um, but other than that, we just have to turn on our rotor. So let's give it a velocity of like... Uh, 2.5? All right, and let's go see it in action. Our new and improved... Actually, it's not improved at all. It's literally the same thing as it was before, but it works. And there she is. The lighthouse is back up and running, my friends. And it shall be for a long time until the next reaver attack, which is totally going to be this episode. All right, the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to replace a gun here because I'm, I'm fairly certain that the gun we placed here is not going to be there again. 
Yeah, okay, so some people actually commented on this and told me why this was happening. Apparently this particular gun is a bit glitched, the uh, the Kapesh or whatever it's called, is a bit glitched and it likes to uh, um, disappear on you. Because apparently it doesn't fully connect to the grid and as a result, uh, when you like log off or something, the trash collector cleans it up. So we're not going to be using that gun. However, let's take a look at the guns we have for like the third time in this series and see what we can use. The Akai Defense. Actually, I was meaning to get a new, another uh, mod pack that you guys were suggesting. Uh, one moment. It has been done. We have added more mods. And I realize, by the way, that every time I, it seems like every couple of episodes, the list of mods gets longer and longer. And at some point, it's just going to be an infinite list of mods and we're going to have too many. But anyways, we added three new mods. Um, only two, only one of them, rather, is a weapon mod. Uh, the other two are two that I I've been meaning to uh, check out recently. But the first one is Ravenbolt's Compact Weapon System 2.0. Uh, and let's actually check that out real quick. Actually, let me announce the other two mods before we check it out. So Ravenbolt's uh, Compact Weapon System 2.0 is one that you guys have been recommending for a long time in the comments. And I, I, I felt like, you know, we need a new weapons mod. Let's try it out. Let's give it a go. Especially before Keen does something that might break it with uh, with a new combat update that may or may not be coming out at some point. I really don't know, but they have said that they they would, so I trust. But uh, anyways, Ravenbolt's Compact Weapon System 2.0 is the, uh, the first one. The second one is AI Enabled, which uh, seems like a really cool mod. Essentially, it adds like little bots that can run around and like shoot you and stuff. It just seems really cool and I wanted to try it out. Uh, and then the other one is a mod that works with that, which is the, uh, the Robot Raider pods mod created by MES. It's part of the uh, modu modular, my gosh, I can't speak, modular encounter spawner. Um, and essentially it'll drop pods near your base that would actually contain these robots that are part of the AI enabled. So let's take a look at what we can see in our inventory menu because I want to see what we have. Do we have the Raven Bolt mods here or are they going to be in block weapons? No, they are not there. Huh. Ah, there we go. Okay, the mods weren't loaded properly. I had to restart it, but it actually did end up loading them. Okay, so now we have a couple of turrets we can try out, because I know a lot of you guys have been putting comments about these GAT1, GAT3s, GAT5, and even the GAT7, which uh, which are meant to represent the, uh, the, the sort of in-game guns, um, but in turret form. So I kind of really wanted to try these out, and it looks like these are small and large grid, which is good, so we can maybe even use one right over there. Uh, I wonder if I have any of the AI enabled stuff here. Uh, oh, okay, so they do have a Robo Factory. So from what I know of the AI enabled, and I don't know terribly much, but I do know that it, oh, hey, the sun's coming up, but I do know that you can actually build uh, little factory uh, robots, or not factory robots, but little welder robots to fly around and help you um, and that sort of thing. So that will kind of be cool to try out. For now, I'm not actually going to wor uh, worry about building robots. We could do that in the future. Um, but for now, we only have AI enabled, so it supports the, uh, the um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, uh, the drop pod mod, which might spawn little hostile AIs. That would be really cool to fight. Um, but anyways, let's find out what we want to put right here, because we just got that new mod. Let's see which one is going to fit. So for the Ravenbolt stuff, I don't know that we want to use a GAT-7, because that probably uses the ammunition that comes with a... Uh, or, or the Elite am ammunition, which I don't think we have. Oh, you know what? We have missiles! Let's make a missile launcher! Yo, okay. Let's make, that's actually kind of small. Um, not not meaning to missile launcher shame, but uh, yeah. Uh, what we're going to do, since it's like tiny like that, just to give it a little more range, is we're actually going to bump it up one. So we're gonna use a conveyor piece right here. We do not have the blocks. One moment. Okay, we're gonna put it on top of a conveyor like that, and we're actually going to build up the sides as well. So it looks a little larger than it is, but essentially, yeah, we're just gonna put this, this nice little weapon right uh, there, and we have the stuff to build it. This is going to be our first missile launcher of the game, and the Reavers are going to love it because apparently they really like fighting. Uh, or when you when you build missile things, they really uh, like to come at you. But uh, there's our first missile launcher of the game. I already put a couple of missiles in here um, on my first trip because oh, it's actually grabbing them. Yeah, good job. <laughs> you do you. All right. Um, so that's going to do that. Let me go over here and see if I can actually control it as well. Uh, where's our seat? Do we not have a seat anymore? Oh rip. I don't know what happened to our seat, but um, anyways, at least if a reaver attacks, it will uh, be somewhat um, in danger, I should say. Uh, this is beautiful. I really like the look of this. Holy crap! <laughs> I feel like I've said this before, but it really looks nice. Just looking out over the dunes here, seeing that kind of golden, uh, the golden sun over there and the golden sky. It's really cool. 
that is a really nice view. I'm actually even going to take a screenshot so you guys know how nice it is. Okay, so for this thing, we're actually going to use this block to build up the kind of uh, side around it. And then we can use this one right here to fill in the uh, the inner areas like this. And that's going to give it a kind of bigger look than it actually is. Uh, so it's going to look like a, a giant weapon. And we can even paint this so that it looks like a gunmetal kind of look. And, uh, and it's, you know, it's going to be awesome. And then right there, of course, we're going to have the catwalk that goes around the area. Ooh, I love, I love seeing that ship that we destroyed a couple episodes back. Um, all right, we're getting some nice daylight here. So one thing I want to do before we go any further, the main goal for this episode, by the way, is to work on our fort. So we're going to be getting a lot of that done. But before we do anything there, I want to definitely get the Hunchback dropship into that base over there. Uh, because we've been postponing it for too long. So before we do that, I have to actually go and uh, fill in the blocks on the ground of the uh, of the museum. So we're going to start with that. Uh, let's get to it. All right, let's get over there. I have about 15,000 steel plates on me, which should be enough. I don't know for sure, but it should be enough to weld the bottom. In fact, we calculated last episode that it would take roughly uh, 10,000, I believe. So we should have plenty. Uh, in fact, a lot of you guys told me as well that I should be using half blocks for the floors, and you're totally right. I don't know why I'm not. So we're actually going to replace them with half blocks before we weld them so, uh, so that we can save materials. Uh, so let's just park this thing over here real quick for now. And then we'll go ahead and uh, and replace that. Make it make it nice and efficient. Hi, I'm Andrew, and I'd like to present the classical Andrew Man collection. Twenty-three stunning songs, all for five payments of nineteen ninety-nine. This fantastic collection includes such classics as "Grinding All These Things." to the four to the five. I like grinding all these things. Everybody's Welding for the weekend. For the weekend. Do you want a piece of my heart? Bow, bow, bow. Yep. Pertam Sandman. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Make him the cutest. Thing and much, ever. much more. For just five payments of twenty nine ninety nine, you could be the proud owner of this uh, collection. Oh no! There's a drop pod. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh, weapon, weapon. This is. Okay, so those are the AI things that are going to crash my game. <laughs> okay. All right, we are back. It crashed once, but it looks like they're actually spawning again. Uh, let's see if it crashes a second time. If it crashes again, then we'll have to probably remove the mod because it'd be something that the mod has caused. But if it doesn't crash, we will go and see them. It hasn't crashed yet. <laughs> Exception in... Okay, destination array was not long enough, etc., etc. Okay, so I will pass this along to the mod developer. I wonder if it'll crash as we go closer to it, because I want to check this out. Um, I wanna, <laughs> because this should be people we can actually fight, which is something we've never had in Space Engineers, other than, like, multiplayer. Uh, these are, like, actual little AI people that you can go and fight. I think they're on the other side of this cliff, which means we might be able to get a vantage point on them uh, by climbing over this. We're definitely in range. This thing has a range of about 800 meters, the gun I'm carrying right now. And in fact, I believe all the uh, normal rifles do. The pistols have a range of a little bit less, but we're not carrying a pistol, are we? So let's get over this edge here and see if we can see them and hopefully not crash. Oh, okay, they're attacking. They're fighting. You know, I would expect nothing less. Let's open fire. I'm getting a good hit on him. Let's reload. I think I just got a headshot or maybe that killed him. I don't know, I saw a red marker. Oh, they have little health bars, that's cool. Okay, maybe one more hit. Yeah, okay, so it looks like they take three hits with this weapon. Now, when the first one came down and it crashed, I actually saw like four or five of these guys, so there might be more. And I'm in a bit of a vulnerable pos- is that one? I'm in a bit of a vulnerable position. There's one somewhere. Left? Yeah, it's okay, he's flanking me. They don't do very much damage, but uh, I do have to watch out because if they just like mag dump me or something, it's not going to be good. All right, that's one hit out of three that we need. Just stand and take his take his shots uh, all day. Come on, come on, one one more shot. That's all we need. There we go. Okay, you know I never got past uh, the gold nova in the CS in CS:GO, so I'm not the best aimer. But uh, I think there might be one or one or two more. We've got to be a little careful. Can I loot these guys? I wonder. No. Okay. Looks like they disappear after a little bit. I guess let's go toward this. And if they shoot at us, then they shoot at us. I just hope there's no turrets on those things. Uh oh, uh oh, left. We have one hit. There's a second one, and come on, one more. One more is all we need. 
Ah! We're out of ammo! Oh no! Uh, okay. Initiate grinding. <laughs> it's our only strategy. Okay. Get behind the tree for cover. Come on. Come on. Get behind the tree. Oh. What? What engaged? Excuse me? You will be ground down. <laughs> it looks like I can interact and I can steal their weapons. Okay, so we now have extra ammo. Can we grab this thing? So that's four of them. But I guess they despawn after a little while, so you have to kind of uh, loot them really quickly. Because I think the other ones have respawned already. This looks like it's still slightly flying, which kind of worries me a little bit. What are these? Are these the new thrusters? That's kind of cool. Uh, and what the heck is that? Oh, that's a... Okay, I, I see what that is. That's one of those little pods that you can get. And it looks like there are four of them, so they must spawn just four, four things. This is a really well-made ship. Um, I think Meridius is the one who made this, the, the creator of the modular encounter spawner. Um, and it's extremely well done. Uh, I think it looks really good. Um, but anyways, let's see what's inside. I, I guess we can just like... Alright! Cool! There's lots of ice! <laughs> and it's flying away. <laughs> so long, little pod. Well, you know what? Thanks for all the ice. Inventory. <laughs> I think it's gone. I don't think the parachute's gonna slow down. I think it's just gonna it's just gonna be gone for good. All right. Well, that was our first encounter. I'm sure there will be more. That was actually really cool. Uh, and I guess that's a look at what space engineers could look like with proper um, proper AIs. So I'm very excited to see what the uh, what the AI enabled mod can can uh, well can give us pretty much because it's only just come out a little while ago, and there are only like two mods that use it currently. Uh, which is this one, and then there's another one, I think, created by the same creator as that one right there. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. That was actually really fun. All right, let's get back to building this thing, and uh, and I'm just going to let that thing fly off in the distance. All right, I finished uh, putting in the blocks. It took a little while, but uh, but yeah, there's a little bit of a design in it. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I really don't know why I did it. I, I was just like, if I'm putting in these blocks, might as well put a little design. It's not going to be visible at all. It'll only be visible pretty much from underneath, where you'll see, like, some of the blocks are full and some of them are not, and it kind of looks cool. But, um, but anyways, let's hop in this thing and we'll start, uh, welding it up so that we can get this thing operational. Well, I mean, what is operational in, in this sense? Just literally able to hold a ship? Alright, let's, uh, let's get to welding. This thing's a bit cumbersome, I will s what is that? That spawned very close. Uh, I think we're about to get another thing. Uh, okay. Let me just real quick save the game, just in case it crashes. Um, that, yeah, that is a drop pod. Okay, let's go to our weapons. That's actually really quick that that would spawn. But, uh, let's see if the game crashes. Spawned in about the same place as last time. They spawned and it didn't crash. Alright, we're, we're, we're at it. Let's go. This thing is really hard to aim compared to the other one. Oh shoot, oh shoot, okay. This is not good. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? I'm switching to my other gun. I have like 8 ammo with this thing. Oh my god. They, they don't do very much damage to me, but they do a lot to my ship and the and the thing behind me. Can I hit that guy? Come on. Oh god, they're, they're doing so much damage to me. I can't even see them barely. Oh no, they're gonna kill me. What do I do? I need to hide. <laughs> I need them to get closer. Ah! They're shooting me under the thing! Okay, I have a plan. Ah! Run away! <laughs> I'm- I'm- this is, this is not good for me. Come at me, guys. They are actually come- oh god, we're screwed. We're screwed. Oh, I see one. I see one. I got one hit on him. Come on. Get a couple more. There's one down. Okay. If I can see their feet, I can hit them. I have 5 HP. Oh my god, I don't- I don't like this. I don't like this. There- one's right above me, I swear. Okay, this guy's right here. Can I get something from him? Okay, I can get a weapon and some ammo. That will do me quite nicely. I wish I- I wish he would have had some health, though. I could really use a little bit of that stuff. I'll tell you what I really need is a grenade. That would help quite nicely. Now, there are only three of them. And I don't think they can one-shot me. I think it'll take like two or three sh- shots. That's the welder. I, mean, I could always try and get in the welder and then weld them. Let me 
What is he even saying? Ah! Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> the other two were right behind him! <laughs> okay, we've got a plain old MR20. Let's go back for our stuff. They're not gonna take it away from me that easily. Wait, are they still there? I don't actually see the drop pod. I bet they're still there. The pod may have left. Oh no, I do see the pod. No, that's my thing. Fuel Wait, fuel low. Oh shoot, okay. Well, that, <laughs> that <laughs> rip being able to actually run up to them. Fuel. Let's see if they're still here. Uh, they were right behind the ship, so we'll see. I've got... Yeah, they're here. Uh, I'm in a bad situation because I can't see them through the smoke. Did they fall down the hole? That's one. Wait, where's the other? I swear there was a, a second one. Wait, where's the other one? Huh, I guess there wasn't a second one. But anyways, they destroyed all my stuff over here. Apparently they're really strong at fighting uh, ships, or at least small ships. So let's, let's see if we can repair a little bit of this and let's get back to our welding. All right, we're just gonna go through this welding. It's gonna be a very simple job. We have all the steel plates. We just have to pretty much steamroll over it. You know, just this amount of steel plates would probably be, if I had to guess, a good 15 trips back and forth from the base. So it's definitely good that we have this ship here. It's saving us a lot of time. It's actually very quick uh, going as well. The only thing is, it would be better is if this ship would uh, would um, fly better. Uh, but again, that's just me underestimating the number of thrusters that were required for this thing. It's not bad, it's just not amazing as well for doing something that's like a downward jo facing job like this. Alrighty, and it is finished. Yes, it is complete. It is almost complete. <laughs> it is complete. Wait, hang on. It is complete. Yes. <laughs> All right. This whole thing is nice and paved. Now it's time to bring over the giant ship because it has an area that it can go. Uh, that said, real quick, there is one thing I want to do. Uh, I'm going to extend this temporarily just a tiny bit. Um, just, yeah, actually. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to extend this a little bit so it goes over that hole and kind of meets up with the ground at a nicer angle. Uh, just so that when we're bringing in the ship, it'll it'll uh, kind of go in easier. It'll what? It'll, uh, <laughs> it'll go over this gap easier is what I'm trying to say. Okay, there we go. That should work quite nicely. There's still a tiny gap, but we're going to be using giant wheels to, to move the thing, so I don't think it's going to matter very much. Uh, let's go ahead and park this thing, and we're going to go over to the ship so we can see what we need to do in order to start bringing it over. Uh, so let's go and head over there. Now, the way I've been thinking about doing this, and it's going to be crazy, we need something to be able to tug the ship, right? Well, actually, technically, we don't need to tug it that much because it's on a hill. It can provide its own momentum to go forward. So... Here's what I've been thinking. What if instead of building a new ship to tug it, we use a ship that we already have? What ship do we already have that can tug things, you ask? Well, of course, the truck! <laughs> Our towing truck for the Dune Power Bank. We're going to fit the, the giant ship over there so it fits a connector like this. We're going to attach a bunch of wheels to the back, and we're going to attempt to tug this thing over there with our normal ship. This is going to be interesting. Um, I think the first step is going to be raising it a little bit so we can actually work with it. Alright, so first thing is first we're adding a couple of pistons to the sides. We've got one right here, and we've got one on the other side as well. These are going to let it move up, at least on the front side. What we're going to do is we're going to raise it up, and then we are going to... And I think I might need more pistons, by the way. Uh, we're going to put another landing gear on it so we can work... Well, maybe we won't... Maybe we'll not just... We'll just not do a landing gear. But, uh, at least for this we're going to go up... Well, maybe we put two pistons on this side and one on the other side because it's kind of tilted a little bit. Uh, can I? Why can I not place that? Probably because the ground under me. Okay, well in that case what we can do is we can just put a couple of blocks to make it uh, a little better. Alright, there we go. Those are both relatively on the ground. Let's go ahead and disconnect this and see what happens. Uh, we might get crushed. But that's something I'm willing to accept. Okay, that's on the ground. That one's on the ground as well. Now we can start maybe raising this a little bit. So let's uh, let's go ahead and start with this side right here. Let's try and bring this up a little bit. Oh, it's struggling. It's definitely struggling, but it's doing it, and that's what matters, right? We're just going to let it go up a little bit. It's going to raise the front of the ship, and it's going to allow us to, uh, to build under there. 
Okay, now while I'm over here testing my luck, I'm also going to add a couple of pistons to the back over here so we can raise that up and add what we wanted to add to the back. So let's get some pistons out here and put them in. Okay, with all four of these pistons, it's becoming a little easier. We now have a group called Back Pistons that I'm going to access and I'm going to increase at the same time. So if we go here uh, to our maximum distance, we can change this to four and see the entire thing raise up just a little bit. I don't want to do this too fast because I think that's, that would be a little dangerous. But uh, is four enough? We probably want a little bit more. I mean, we're going to end up putting wheels under there. Probably five would be enough. We have something spawning above us. It's a drop pod. Oh, good lord. Okay, we're, we're about to get into another battle. Luckily, my favorite ammo is uh, in... I have like 20 bullets of it, so this is going to be fun. Let's... Uh, you know what? This was, uh, this was the site of one battle. Let's make it the site of another battle. I'm here, drop pods. Come fight me. Or crash. I mean, you, you, we'll, we'll see what happens. They haven't crashed. Okay, let's go. I had to give them a fair second so they could they could uh, load up a little bit. Just gonna pick them off as they kind of run toward me. I don't think they can see me. Oh, my base is fighting back. And I've missed every shot so far, I think. Uh, they all have disconnected signs. I think I missed every shot. What's going on? <laughs> I have one bullet left. And I hit it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I have plenty of ammo. Let's fight them here. Uh, I don't know where they're going. They're having a little bit of trouble down there. They don't know how to get on top of my grid. All right, I'll fight you guys fair and square. That was a bad idea. That was immediately a bad idea. They're, they're destroying my thing. All right, you know what? Fine. Let's let's use rapid fire. Ah! Uh, reload, please. Thank you. There's one more. We have 17 HP. Uh, let's let's use the, the better weapon. Okay, come on, one more hit, one more. There it is. Okay, nice. All right, you know what? This is probably fine. Let's uh, let's go and add the wheels. All right, check it out. We've lifted it the max that we can go with these current pistons. I'm gonna put one of these uh, under each one, and then we're gonna start setting up our wheels. So for our wheels, we're gonna go with an interesting custom wheel design. Hopefully we can get it um, into the museum and it doesn't completely destroy us, but I mean, it does look kind of ridiculous, doesn't it, at this point? Oops, nope, nope, nope. We had it for a second. Turn on the parking brake. All right, let's connect this. Uh, green for connection. We are now connected. This is not gonna go well. So we shouldn't go when I press this button. All right, well, one of our wheels fell off. All right, it's a million years later. I've been trying to do this for a while. Uh, finally, I decided to try and use some of these uh, some of these normal wheels instead of the, the weird wheels. Uh, I have no clue why I was trying to do that, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach a wheel. Wait, add a wheel is what I mean. It's upside down, I know, but I'm doing that because it's easier to put it upside down uh, to connect it. Um, we're going to... Well, let's see if I have the blocks to, to weld this up. I have some of them. What about these guys? One of these is already mostly welded, just needs some small steel tubes. Yeah, okay. Let's finish up welding these, we'll get the wheels set up, and this should be a lot better because we'll have the suspension, so it might actually work better. Alright, I think we're pretty much ready. Uh, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly make it so that the height offset is good for my ship. The parking brake is on, so it shouldn't move at all. Let's bump this up a little bit. Oh, no, it's at the max. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, in that case, let's go ahead and increase the strength a little bit. <gasps> Uh-oh. It moved. I'm scared. Uh, okay. Let's uh, do it again, maybe? Nope. That's not what we want. Okay, that's fine. This is good. This is all we need. If I press 6, it should start... Okay. Okay, it started moving. The question is, can I actually turn it with my front ship, or is my front ship doing nothing? That is the question. Oh god, oh god. Okay, nope, nope, okay. Wait, we gotta be careful. It it does not like it. Nope. Okay, okay. Abandon, abandon all hope, ye who come into here. See, the, the wheels are not having it. There we go, truck, get out of there. All right, guys, unfortunately, I think this is not gonna work. I really wanted it to, but I've, I've spent like uh, two hours on this, and I think we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna do something else, and I know exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're just gonna drive it there. Um, I wanted to make this work a little bit better, but you know, sometimes it's it's a lot harder than you think it's gonna be. So we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna drive the, the ship there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, parking brake is engaged, but it's not stopping. So, this will be interesting. 
<laughs> There's nothing I can do. We're picking up speed. We're at 30. Uh, hopefully it'll start slowing down once we get to... Okay, yeah, it is slowing down a little bit. But I think we might overshoot, which is not good. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's stopping. Okay. Wait, it's sliding. Why is it sliding? That's not ideal. Why is it sliding? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, old ships, no! Okay. Luckily, it came in clutch with the old ships. Why? What was going on there? Okay, well, we just avoided disaster by by uh, mere feet um, with this thing stopping the ship just in time. Oh, I understand now. First of all, some of my wheels are doing some weird backward thing. But second of all, I thought I had lowered the propulsion override to zero, but it was actually like 0 0.0001, which means all of the wheels don't work when that happens. So pretty much I was just driving without wheels that were working. Uh, at this point, I think some of my wheels just need to be reversed to get them to work. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. Okay, maybe it does matter. Okay, here we go. We're finally able to move this thing. I still don't fully know how the wheels are working really but <laughs> we're just gonna try and drive this thing to the left a little bit into that area and hopefully not manage to crash into any of the uh any of the stuff i don't think it likes to turn though that's the prop that's one of the one of the issues all right it's almost over trust me for me this has been like a uh like a three hour saga at this point <laughs> but we're almost there I just need to manage to turn it into the area, which it might run into that over there, but that should be fine. Or maybe not, because it does not want to run through that. Well, I can real quick just shave that off temporarily. All right, after a little more work, I think this is where we're going to keep it. It's not perfect, but it's almost there. We have the wheels uh, on the side. This is perfect for that wall right there. This is almost perfect for that wall. In fact, these blocks right here aren't even part of it. These are stuff that I added later. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, in fact, you can even, actually wait, no, we added a bunch on the front so it could, it could, just so it could fit. But awesome, I think it's there. So what we're gonna do uh, next time we touch this, which is probably not gonna be this episode, but maybe uh, next episode, we're actually going to end up merging this to the ground here. So this is not gonna be a working ship, or it will be. I guess we'll keep the merge block so it'll always be possible to unmerge it maybe. But uh, but essentially, I want this to be. Well, no, it's not going to be flyable. I'm going to want that to be an actual part of the museum. So if I were to ever paste the museum somewhere else, uh, the ship would actually come with it because it would technically be part of the same grid. Uh, that should also help us uh, cut down the number of grids we have and also maybe hopefully reduce some clang that might eventually start arising. Um, okay, now this is in the museum and we have a floor. This is good. All right, let's head back to the base so we can do a little bit more work on the, uh, on the top thing. That took me like three hours to get this thing uh, all the way over here. That's an insane amount of time that I was not expecting. But uh, all right, let's get back to the base. All right, back at the base. It just so happens everything I wanna do up in the fort uh, for, the, for the latter part of this episode needs to be done during the day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run around and uh, pretty much spend the night kind of working on the base a little bit. And I will come back once the sun is rising and I'll tell you what we've done. So we're just gonna fix up some holes and, and, uh, and do some base work. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. The sun is now coming up. I did a little bit of work on the base. I patched those holes that were here with heavy armor blocks. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see the difference here. Those are now heavy armor. I said this earlier in the series, Every everything that gets broken, I'm going to replace with heavy armor. So gradually the whole structure becomes stronger. Uh, in addition, I removed all of the top windmills that we had here. They were always going to be temporary. I just haven't had it removed them yet. That gun might go. I don't know for sure. Or we might like double down and put more weapons up here. Uh, the other thing that I did is I actually went through here and I built up this uh, this wall just a tiny bit. I haven't added lights or anything onto it, but I added this little area where you can go inside. Uh, so that's a huge step forward for this wall, which previously actually wasn't even completed as far as welding in all the blocks. And it looks like we're still missing a couple, but those are just where I couldn't get the ship uh, to go. So we'll probably have to do those manually. Uh, finally, I also added a button right here to turn off these batteries because uh, what we found out in a Space Busters episode a couple of uh, maybe a couple months back or I don't know something like that is uh, is that when when uh, power goes into batteries and then into machines there's a 20% loss on the power so uh, since all of our power is pretty much being generated from the uh, from the little batteries over there or from from that over there uh, I would like it to go directly into the machines instead of in these batteries. So I just turn them on recharge so they don't keep on... Because uh, what they were doing previously is they're recharging a little bit, then outputting to the machines, then recharging, then outputting. I just want them to recharge and be done with it. And then we don't have to worry about uh, 
th that battery power over there going in here and then incurring that 20% loss. So I think I think that'll be good. Um, all right, let's go up and work on the uh, the fortress up there. Um, I'm gonna take a bunch of steel plates because I want to show you what at the start of this episode I was saying we're gonna do something that's gonna be really cool that you guys are gonna like. Uh, Steve, oh my god, I can't spell today. All right, so uh, the thing I wanted to show you guys and I wanted to wait a little bit for is um, until until we're ready to do it is. Uh, I asked you guys, and we'll look at the sunrise while I say this. I asked you guys last episode what you thought about going to space because I've got, I've gotten a lot of comments uh, pr uh, like in the past saying that you guys wanted to see me go to space, and I was saying this series is mostly not really a space exploration thing. It's mostly just kind of like a um, a ground-based series, considering all my other series is, is have been space-based. Uh, but a lot of you guys are still interested in going to space, and so we will absolutely do that. I am setting a deadline as of this episode, which is episode number 23. We are going to end up going to space inside of the next five episodes. Uh, and to do that, we have a couple of things we want to do. Uh, this fortress is going to be a fortress and a lighthouse, but it's also going to have a... Um, well, I wrote down in my notes a NASA, but uh, I feel like that's not descriptive enough. It's going to have a uh, pretty much a, a I want to say a missile silo that's going to serve as our uh, as our rocket launch area, our research and development for NASA things. So let me just real quick uh, build up this area right here because I know where I want to put it. Uh, currently, I'm thinking of putting it right about here where we don't have to do that much digging. We can like kind of surround it in blocks and it'll go down and everything like that. And it'll even, this is my, this might be where we connect to the, uh, uh, to the, that thing, the bunker, because it's a little closer. Um, it, it's a little more in line, I should say, but, uh, okay, let's do this. Okay. So something like that, where we can kind of mirror the side over there. Actually, you know what? Let's not go up here. Let's go down instead. Cause it would look better. So this block right here, which was going to previously go up, will instead go down. And were we doing one stair in the middle? Yeah, we were. Okay. So this block will go down, and we'll do this. All right, there we go. Uh, okay, so it comes down right there. You have your weapon. The weapon will be able to fire at anything, presumably, in this general area. And we'll do the same thing over th like that we did right there with the defenses on the side, so it doesn't have that uh, weak area. Super Gremlin, okay. I'm still expecting a Reaver attack at one point because we have our antenna up and running, but uh, so far we haven't gotten it. Okay, so as far as our NASA silo goes, uh, I think we want to have, I don't know how big we want to make it, definitely bigger than a 3x3, but it's going to be circular as well. Maybe we go out 5, and then we start turning. Uh, we'll turn with, the, uh, with these blocks probably because we want to make it a kind of circular thing. So like this. I think we're going to make it about that big right there. It's it's not terribly large, but it's large enough to fit any sort of like uh, like rocket that we decide to build in here. So I think this will be good. And it's actually, this is not the full uh, size right here. It's actually going to come out about this far. Uh, so it's going to be kind of large, but we'll hopefully have this built up in maybe two episodes from now. And then we can start working on the, uh, on the rocket, uh, which we should have done in five episodes. And then on that fifth episode, which would be episode number... 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Episode number 28, we would be going to space. So get ready, guys. In uh, in that many episodes, we will be launching. But until then, I'm interested. What do you guys want me to do in space? Uh, because as far as the normal things you do, which would be asteroid mining to try and get all those good materials, we don't really need to do that since we have these rockets that are downed here. Or not rockets, but uh, ships that are downed here that can give us uh, all of the materials we need. So what do you guys what do you guys want us to do in space? Uh, we can look for trading posts. We could um, what else could we do? We could try and visit. There's a moon on the other side of this planet. I'm pretty sure. We could try and visit that perhaps. Three, four, five. Um, or we could build a little outpost in space. Although I feel like I've done that in upper, uh, in other seasons as well. So I don't know. Just let me know what you guys want want to see, and we will uh, we'll make that plan. All right, with the outer ring finished, this is how big our silo is going to be. So it's going to look like this. We're going to it's going to be a little uh, thicker as well, I'll say. So uh, like we'll put um, we'll put I think maybe a layer of two instead of one like that. So it's going to be like a little bit of a thinner uh, silo, but it's you know, it's going to look pretty good. Um, all right, so we are going to extend this downward uh, and this heavy armor, by the way, we use heavy armor on the outside. We're not going to use heavy armor the rest of the way. We're just going to use light armor. But uh, I like to have this at least one little ring of heavy armor that can survive if it's if, if it's under attack so that we don't lose the thing entirely. But uh, yeah, so we do have that ring of heavy armor. The rest is going to be light. 
Um, let's go ahead and extend it downwards. All right, there we go. We did all of the uh, main ends right there, and I think I'm going to keep it just like that for now. Uh, we'll build up the outside later. We have to dig this out. That's the thing. And honestly, this is <laughs> if it extends that far, that's a really, really far uh, um, silo. I, I keep trying to avoid saying mine shaft or, or the shorthand shaft uh, for reasons. But yeah, so this is this is going to be a very large silo. Uh, question is will it connect up to there I can actually see a little bit that looks really cool from up oh my god that looks so awesome we'd have the fort right there and the fort would have like you'll see the the little guns on the side eventually uh, but not quite yet but yeah that's gonna look really awesome this I don't it, it's going to connect to it but it's probably gonna have to go really far in because currently I don't think it goes far enough which means we would have to probably man, uh, maneuver this a little bit so that we can go under here and that would be the main path to get to the area all right, real quick, we need iron so that we can make the ammo for what we're about to put in. Uh, so I will be right back. We're going to get some over here. Iron! Uh, so while we're down here getting iron, a drop pod actually just landed above us and it's taking off. Uh, I, he I heard my base's guns just open fire, so I have no clue what happened to the robots, but I imagine nothing great. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, they're they're attacking us. So, you know, I mean, we gotta we got to use our ship as a weapon. Where are they? Right here? Ah! Uh, oh no, he's on the ship! No! Attacking! Ah! Okay, we run away. We run. <laughs> what the heck? I thought I'd be able to, like, like, uh, drill him. <laughs> but no. Alright, well, if they come over this ridge to attack our base, they will surely not make it. Armed with an interior plate, I'm able to place the Sentinel turret, which, uh, I think... These ones never disappeared, right? I think this one's probably gonna be fine. There we go. It looks amazing, this little sentinel turret. I'm gonna give it some ammo, which, uh, well, maybe I won't actually. How do I, is that super gremlin? Uh, I need to actually build up this side if I wanna give it ammo. Cause the only reason I was able to give this one ammo is if I, is because I have this cargo container right here that feeds into it. Well, are those the soldiers that are closing into the base? Hang on. <laughs> I heard this thing over here attacking something. I think it probably just lit up some soldiers who came over the mountain or something. Huh. But anyway, we have to we have to actually build up this side right here for it to work properly. So we go down, and then we have a conveyor right here. And this one right here goes back then. So it goes down, conveyor, and then it goes... How do we do this, actually? Was this... Okay, that's a conveyor. So that... Okay, yeah. So this was just one of those. Uh, but it must have gotten destroyed. Uh, what it did then is it went conveyor... Nope, not sorter. Oops, they look the same. That's the problem. Uh, conveyor right there and conveyor right there, and then we'll go back this way. So this will eventually hook up to the middle area over there. Uh, but then it's also going to go this way. No, it won't yet, but it will eventually go into here because this is how we're going to connect to the base down there. So we're going to have a, uh, a, a conveyor that goes all the way down. Okay, I brought a control seat because I want to hear the burt. Uh, so let's let's go up here. We'll place our control seat like we did before. This is a temporary control seat that will eventually be removed. We'll put like a more a more uh, permanent one somewhere eventually. So we can build this up right here, and then we can give this thing some ammo. And finally, we can go and see if we can hear the. What what are you aiming at? Oh, that can't be good. I think it's I think it's about to light that up. Yep, it is for sure about to light that up straight through our antenna. Cool. All right. <laughs> uh, Sentinel, please, uh, please stop. Please, please. Okay. Yep. Now, how much damage did you do to my own antenna? That's a good question. Uh, zero, actually. Okay, maybe it can't actually attack my own things. But, uh, all right. Good to know that that thing likes to light things up from miles away, just like the other one. Let's go in here and set that to a, a less of a thing. A less of a, a range. All right, I've aptly named our sentinel turret to the... I've given it Bert, so... Bert, you know, Bert. I can't make that that rolling R sound, but you know what, you know what I'm, I'm saying. Uh, let's go ahead and control this. I want to see... Wait, we can't. What? I want, oh, because it's off. Hang on. Let me lower the aiming radius down to 999. So it's not shooting that thing from miles away. Change the rate of fire? What? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Uh, but now we're going to go into... Turn it on. We're going to go into control mode. Okay, is that... 
Well, I guess we have target practice. Good lord, that thing! <laughs> That's so many bullets per second! Yep, I think Bert is a good name. We might need to add a couple more R's onto that, but jeez, I love this thing. Uh, we really need to lower its aiming radius, though, otherwise it's just going to continue to uh, destroy that ship over there. <laughs> oh my god. A little overpowered much? Alright, Bert. You're given one more chance. Just don't open fire on random stuff. <laughs> okay, I think we've fixed that issue. Um, Alright. You, well, you might have noticed off in the distance over there, by the way, this little, uh, this, this casual little hinge. We're actually going to put a, a cap on this thing, so it's going to be covered. And the hinge here is going to allow it to, uh, to open. So it's going to be kind of cool. It's going to have a little silo cap. Um, but, alright, good stuff. We now have a Burt turret. And, yeah. Alright, the next thing we should do is put in one of these right there. And we'll put in another one right here. And these will be the, uh, blind spot turrets like we have on the other one. Uh, it's not as much of a blind spot on this one for sure. It's only like this area that might be a blind spot. Actually, I don't even know. Let me let me try the Burt turret real quick. Uh, and I gave it more R's, so I, all I have to do is type in a bunch of R's, and you know it knows what I it knows what I'm thinking. Um, so we go into control. So this one can aim slightly down, but not again. There's that whole blind spot over by our base. So that's what these turrets over here will cover, or this one will cover over there, and this one will cover this whole area over there. Uh, but again, we'll probably have another set of turrets on this side, which will cover uh, everything else. All right, with that set up right there, with ammo and everything, ready for ready for a voice crack, ready for a reaver attack, and the NASA is kind of started. Uh, I think it's probably a good time to end the episode. Again, five episodes, we're gonna go to space. So episode number t uh, number twenty eight, you guys can look forward to us launching off to space. And in the next episodes, we'll be working on more on the fort. Hopefully, we'll get that completed soon, as well as the uh, our new NASA right here, which is going to be awesome. Um, as far as the museum goes, probably next episode we're going to uh, add a merge block so we can merge the uh, the museum with the ship so that they're one, and then we can uh, kind of build that up a little bit uh, as well. But um, but yeah, lots to look forward to in the coming episodes. If you guys like those, this one, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section, and I will, what the heck is that? And I, it's a spirit of Lamont, I'm not afraid. I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers! As a quick post credit scene, I think it's finally time that we retire our original welder ship. Please join me in a moment of silence as I give it a celebratory, aggressive charge point. You were a great ship, but now it's time to retire. May your materials be used elsewhere and not fall down the mountain. <laughs> And so it is done. Even the structure must go. And so it is done. The original welder is no more. <laughs>